Hello people, Paul T's beer reviews, I don't need this one, <laughs> for this, today we're doing Tiny Rebel, one of the wife's favourites, Caliel, we're going to do it on cake, but we decided to do the can first, okay, ignore <laughs> we, the have, dog. we have an intruder, <laughs> being hot here today, we need the dog, we don't need the dog, Right, there you go. Do you want to show them that and that, and then we can go on that? Same. Like Typical that. tiny rebel style. Yeah, just with the graphics there. We've got a hazy amber drink here. Yep, coming in at five percent, if I may say, five percent ABV. Let's not forget mm, that. Smelling lovely and tropical. Oh, lovely and grocery, I thought. More mango. No, more grapefruit. More mango. No way, Pedro. It's definitely mango. It's not. It's more <laughs> grapefruit. Oh, uh, we used to like this, didn't we? We used to have this on cake. I think this is a good all rounder. Being at five percent, it's not too strong, and it's definitely uh, not a weak one. So, as far as Tiny Rebel goes, it's okay, but it ain't that great. Not really, is it? It's like... Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, I've had that for a while, have you? No, it's, it's got that fruity consistency to it. Um, it's definitely, you've got that kind of mango taste to it. I think you've got that grapefruit taste, not mango. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to go it? on mango. Oh, it's it nice grapefruit. Quite, it's quite sweet. It's not that sweet. Otherwise, I would like it because if it didn't have that bitter aftertaste, I would totally despise it. I don't actually mind this. I wouldn't do a keg of it. Then again, I've got Pineapple Express and Club loaded in my It's a pale days. ale and it's a fruity pale ale. You've got really juicy um, notes there and they're tropical. So it's a very predominant grapefruit taste at the end. So and it even smells really fruity. I'm gonna Is have it? to con I'm gonna have to include come here you <laughs> Our little dog, he decides he keeps wanting to be in our videos, but only vocally, not right. visually. Can I just put a bit of club up the back? Yeah, that smells more tropical. Difference? You've got miles more citrus in the club. Okay. And the grapefruit's more bitter. Yeah. That's Actually, you can see a different. This makes a change for Tiny Rebel because if you look Pearl at it. Parallel is much more creamier, and the club is much more citrus. Yeah, much more fruity. Yeah. Yep. I'll give it to Tiny Rebel. <laughs> hey, well done. They've done something different by one of a few sweeteners. That's good. Don't know Kanye West, but that's good. He doesn't like Tiny Rebel. I do. I think they're inspirational for doing what they do. They've been pioneers on leading the way with fruity IPAs. Leading the way? Yeah, they that's have been. criminal. They have been. I'll tell you what. Tiny Rebel certainly do not lead the way. I have done. I feel they But that is, there's a big difference. Um, if you notice my other video the other day with the Pineapple Express and that, and you couldn't really tell the difference, you know? It's like, it was close. Oh, that's really creamy. Got, that's got a um, creamy to consistency to it. And this one. Glass. Let's find one up here. Excuse me. That yeah, it's brim. much more citrusy. Let's bring our friend into the mix on the old perfect draft, Pineapple Express. 
So there you go, you've got a face off here now, haven't you? Come on, stand up and be counted. That's quite just sweet. Tastes different. Pour a tiny bit more in that one because it's hardly anything more. Okay, you know what you're doing. The Curly Pearl Ale has creamy consistency. The Club Tropicana has um, a citrusy feel. And the Pineapple Express is sweeter. I don't know if people agree with me here, but tasting them side by side, that is definitely creamy. It's got a creamy, smooth kind of taste. Mm. Yeah, oh. the club is definitely much more citrusy. Right, this is my take on this, and I'm always right in a way. And the Pineapple Express is sweeter. They're very similar. But definitely you can tell the difference yeah. in the Cali Owl. Because it's creamy. Maybe, maybe it's because it's rough out the can. I haven't got through perfect drafts anymore. But I actually think it's because it's a pale ale and an ale is more creamy than an IPA. Mm. Back me up here, people. <laughs> Juicy pale ale. Mm. Tiny Rebel, isn't it? It's the same old thing with a little bit of sweetness and flavouring. But there is a big difference. These two, very similar. That is not, and you can even see in the colour room, look. Yeah. Someone actually picked out on Perfect Draft keg tips. Thank you, mate, if you're watching this. That the uh, Pineapple Express was on the left when we did the other review, which is really good. Because I wouldn't have never known that. So predominantly, the taste I'm getting from these three drinks, the Cali Pale Ale is very fruity, but it has a creamy consistency. The club has a very uh, citrusy kind of um, taste to it, and the pineapple express is sweeter. Right, but well, that's not all... my personal opinion. But they're not all that good, are they? Any of them? I actually like them. I think it's personal opinion and taste. I think so... the best thing about this is the old Robin Williams glass there. So... Out, of, out of the three of them, which yeah. one would I go on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pineapple Express. Mm -hmm. I would choose the Pineapple Express now, thank you. Yeah, so would I, <laughs> definitely. I and would... I don't usually go for the sweeter option. It's nicer. It's nicer. And I always pleasant. thought that I told you um, this all the way along. Club was one of my favourite uh, Tiny Rebel drinks, but putting the three of them side by side, that's how I'm going to go on it. Wow, but anyway, this was a review about Cali. Yeah, it was, oh. and it just Which morphed you, into something else. It means you've got sidetracked on, you know. I can't get the staff, so YouTubers, but I'm Cali, easily led astray. Oh, we know that. <laughs> Cali out of 10, is it a yes? Is it a no? It's yeah. definitely a yes for me. I, I think it's a great all rounder at 5%, and it comes in at a steady 7. Not bad. It's as, a far great as, juicy ale. Ale. as far as Tiny Rebel go, I mean, let's be honest, Tiny Rebel are not like the Kanye West of music or the Robbie Williams, are they? They're kind of, you know, they've got all these wallies that like them, so they're going to go far in life. Not well, just being honest. But yeah, Pineapple Express, that's growing on me, you know? I got, yeah, definitely. I got a bit drunk on it Saturday night, <laughs> doing a few videos. He actually enjoyed it, he won't admit it. That's only, no, that's only because I drank loads of Wisen beer beforehand, and I couldn't tell what was going on. But yeah, I did, good, good, good night on the old Tiny Rebel. We need a few before you have them, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'll go on a yes as well. Do you know why? It's different. Yeah, it's and different. it's good. I did used to like it before, didn't I? That, yeah. that was my five, favourite Tiny Rebel drink when it first came out. Uh, now... Pineapple Express, definitely my favourite, but yep, I can agree with her, 7 out of 10, a definite yes. Okay. 
<laughs> what more can I say here? <laughs> Thanks for putting up with us. If you've actually watched us through to the end, you're a champion. <laughs> Do you mean watch it through to the end? Man of my calibre. Listen, we have 21% women. Don't leave me, girls, please. I can check the stats. Just, just don't go. Don't want all these blokes. We're all together. Come on, girls. Yeah, I know. They're watching me, not you. Get over it. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, they like, know. subscribe, comment, and thank you. And they know for a watching us. I'm gonna cut him off there. A connoisseur.